Um, good morning, every everybody. Assemble duelists for the Thursday stream, the first day of February. Hope you're all doing great so far. Appreciate you. Get your scatters out of your system. Get the scatters out of your system. Yeah, boy, Diego, thank you for the eight months. Also, Tygiantic, thank you for the early gifts up. Uh, and thank you for, uh, once again, uh, giving me a little heart attack because I'm sitting in front of my PC uh, preparing the stream and I hear the freaking sub sound pop up out of nowhere when I didn't expect it. But okay, appreciate you regardless. Taking over the, the monthly leaderboard uh, right away. I see what you're trying to do. Appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. Um, it is the final stream on the last week before the big Phantom Nightmare release. It is also the beginning of a new Master Duel season, so we're going to do a little bit of both. Uh, the main reason why I want to do... Um, I kind of want to make Master 1 as fast as possible this month. Because, of course, after Phantom Nightmare releases, we're going to spend a decent amount of time on that. Uh, it doesn't mean that we're not going to play Master Duel at all. That is not going to be the case. But at the same time, you know, I want to spend significantly more time on Phantom Nightmare, deck building, deck testing, all that kind of stuff once that drops. So that is going to be the case. So I want to be... Focusing on making Master 1 before that, and then after Phantom Nightmare, I want to put a little bit more of a focus on Phantom Nightmare. You know how it goes. Rubric writes, thank you for the two gift subs actually taking over the first spot of the leaderboard for February. Okay, I see what you're trying to do. Appreciate that a lot. And Sinister Dairy, thank you for the first time Prime sub. Appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. All right. Um, everyone... Get in here while we're waiting for everyone to join. Let us just do the warm up. Let's guess some cards and do that. Uh, Fanatics, thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's guess some cards. I'm feeling good today. This is going to be uh, a bang around. You're the first person to say my name correctly. Well, I, I, I didn't. Okay. It didn't seem that hard, but. Poggers. Mm, uh, this is something DK, isn't it? Endless DK? Yep. Alright. Uh, ooh, this is the one where they are building the ancient gear, dude, but I don't know what it's called. Like, maybe repair? No, workshop. Okay. Uh, looks like some dragon it's not dragon shrine is it no oh it's the castle of dragon souls yes uh i believe this is this is either solemn authority or balance of judgment balance of judgment then i picked the wrong one first but it's okay Um, this might be Trapeze Magician. Yes. All right. Morphtronic, maybe? Yeah, Scopin. Uh, who do we have here? Gishki. Gishki. It could be Abyss. No. Which one is that? Gishki Vision? Gishki Grim? Oh, it's Grimness. Okay, the newest one. All right. Uh, this looks like a green dust on situation. Could have gotten that without zooming, maybe. But I always zoom once by habit, because, like, 99% of the time you need it. Ancient Warrior, I'm skipping the Ancient Warrior, because it's not double Dragon Lord. Um, this looks familiar. This is some hero stuff, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's just Avion. Yep. I wasn't sure if it was a card that had Avion on it. That's Forbidden Dress.
Uh, that is some... That's just Envoy of the Beginning. Mm. I'm not sure what that is. Nope. Don't know what that is. Archfiend Giant. Okay. Uh, that's Tengu. Oh, this is... Is it the Kickman? It is the Kickman. It's a little tricky because I think the Kickman also appears on some spell or traps. That's what I wasn't sure about. Okay, this is Dispatch Barazzi. Uh, oh, this is a battery card. Uh, I'm not sure. It's something charger. Battery charger. Yeah, okay. Good, good. Uh, that's beat. And that is Chaos Hunter. Yes. This looks like plunder. No, it's not plunder. On first glance, I was like, that's plunder colors, but it's an artifact. Oh, which one is that? Labris, maybe? No. Oh, I don't know which one that is. The green artifact? Fail not. Okay. Mm, ooh. Uh, preparation. Uh, this does not look familiar. No. It's a skip angle. Oh, it's a DDD. Okay. Uh, what is this called? The um, not Seamare. Uh, wait, is it Seamare? No, Sea Archiver. That's the one. You played this in Salad back in the day sometimes. Mm, is this Arlecchino or whatever it's called? Yeah. It do be Arlecchino. I do not know this one, so I'm skipping it ASAP. Crystal Dean. Uh, I think this is an ice barrier. Defender of the ice barrier? No, it's not Blizzard. Blizzard is the bird. Uh, I'm not sure which one it is. I've seen it though. It's like one of the little dudes. Do dark. Ah, I wasn't gonna get that. Uh, that is the the what is it called? The the SP little knight. Uh, Chiyo, Chiyo Maru. I thought it was I thought it was Choyu Maru. Okay. That is a gund. Mm. Oh, have I seen that? I'm not sure. I, no. Shell Knight. That's what it looks like. <laughs> oh, Heritage. That card looks way different when you've always seen it with like the hollow effect. That's an evil swarm. Uh, Ketos. Yeah. Oh, that's the little armadillo synchro. 
Uh, no, not that. Not, not, not. What is this? I we've had this like uh. High. High res kills. What? No, I can't spell it. Well, I can't either. It's a little synchro though. It's little. It's a synchro too. Puralis. Oh god damn it. I wasted time on that. Fake spinny. Yeah, I thought it was spinny as well at first. This is like mechanical snail? Yeah. Levier. Oh, that's a prediction princess. Oh, territory, yeah. Uh, some Daedalus. Wait, Daedalus. But is it Chaos, Light Ray, or Metaphys? Metaphys? Metaphys. Um... I don't know what that is. Merciful Machine Angel. Ooh, that's Earthbound, no? That color scheme? No. Oh, that's that Stingray. Is it White Stingray? No. Is it? It's not a Stingray? What is it? A Stingray. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Don't do me like that. It was going so well, too. Hazy Flame... Cerberus. No. Hazy Flame... Manticore. Yep. Ooh, this looking like Yosenju, no? Hama... One? Comma two. Comma three. Mizak. Oh, it's not a comma. God damn it. Okay. Well. Ooh, is this a Preda plant or not? Is it Queen of No, it's Queen of Thorns. This the old synchro six. Uh, Ariana? Ariana Aiden. Huh? Wait, what? Oh, it's a comp- what is that? Labyrinth, uh, it's Labyrinth, right? Set up? Ghast- oh, it's Ghastly Glitch. Damn it. Baited. Um, it's not Verte, is it? No. Venom Serpent? Venom Serpent. Uh, Victory... Victory Dragon. Yep. Uh, looking like F.A. City Grand Prix or something like that? No. Circuit Grand Prix. Ugh, I hate that. Um. Oh, this is that spirit, Maharagi. Yes. Hyper Artonis, thank you for the 14 months. Victory Dragon was 30 seconds ago, but I appreciate the input. Uh, it's not, is that, it's not Lee and Colia, is it? It's the, the one that gives attack, Aldonia. This is another UA. Midfielder? No. Ruthless? 
the Nile. Oh. Ah, we had this. Uh, it's not red armor. It's uh, we had King Scarlet. We had it recently. Uh, looking like, uh, Axel Synchron. I was about to say it looks like a, uh, Machina card, but it's not. Mm, a Neo Akmador. Ooh, Evil Eye. I'm not very good with the Evil Eyes, but I'll try... Gorgon? No. Zerzio? Nice. Uh, this is Dread Dunker. Dunk. Something Dunker. Oh, just Dunker. Oh, that's the Synchro uh, Gravity Warrior. Yeah. Goatee, but... Uh, Snopios? Yeah, the, the level 6, I believe, is what that is. Oh, this is like Switch... It's not revolving switchyard. No. Connection. Connection zone. Yep. And this is... I don't know what that is. A Shiranui? Oh yeah, Shiranui Samurai. Okay. Alright, well... Look, 809 is pretty good. I will say the first half was pretty on fire this time. We were once again, I think, on pace for a thousand at some point. The second half wasn't as good, but uh, eight hundred is definitely good. I can feel it. I can feel it coming. We need. We we just need a little bit more luck in one of the upcoming uh, ones, and we can hit. A, we can hit four four digits again. Uh, it's it's going up. We've definitely been trend trending upwards, dude. It's definitely not time for the. For the, uh, for the washed copy pasta. No shot. You guys are just doing it at any point now. That's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> 21 Yako, thank you for the prime. And Hyper Artonis, thank you for the 14 months. I think I said that already, but I appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Uh, we do one of these. Uh, the, we the website is still bugged, so you can't do the daily challenge still. It's still Temp Whaler. But we can do an endless challenge. It's the same thing, anyways. Wrong go mini ad. And it is a level four, not dark, under 15 attack, under 15 defense, newer in 2015. So we're looking for a small level four. A small level four that is not a dark monster. Uh, try to think of like a, which, which year is retaliating C? 2015, same year as Rongo, so it won't be that. Um, Naturia Camellia fits, you're right, that does fit. And it is not a uh, earth monster, and it's even smaller than that. Okay, Falco, Falco has 1600 defense. Uh, let's, let's think of a light monster, maybe, because light monsters are also relatively common. It could be a link. Is there a link for, with, with, wait, it could be Appaloosa, no? Okay, it's not a link. I was just checking if it was zero defense, zero attack with Appaloosa, but it's not Appaloosa, and it's not a link, and it's not a fairy, and it's not a wind. But we do know it's now 2020 or 2021. Hikari? Is Picari level 4? Picari is level 4. And it's still not it. Okay. All, all guesses so far were good guesses, but it's a fire or water. 
It's not a cyber, so it wouldn't be a Marincess. What level 4 fire from 2020 could it be? That's like very small. Springans? Springans. R2021. Plunder? Ooh, plunders are water from 2020. Oh, it's a water from 2020, but it's not a fiend and it's not... That means it's not a plunder in general. They're all fiend, right? Yeah, they're all fiend. It's not a plunder. Dude, what the hell? Sue ships? I think Sue ships are all fires and they're all 2021. What is that? Uh, Keldora Bull, thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Welcome back. A shark? Shark. Mm, too much attack. Nope. Rika. Ooh, wait. Rika. It's 2022. Rika Strena. Primula. Too much defense. Too much attack. Nope. Not a Rick. Also, it's not a plant. Because we, we tried Camellia. Oh, what is that? Ice Jade? Ooh, Ice Jade. Nope, not 2020. What about... Did Shadol... Shadol got some support in 2020 that had different attributes. Did they get a water? Ah, oh, too much defense. Ariel. Dude, what is that? Ancient warrior? Mm -hmm. No. Search fishes? <laughs> Fish. <laughs> There's going to be way too many. I'm not going to find anything. Night Sword Serpent? Night Sword Serpent is 2021, but that would have been a good guess. White Fish? No, that's not out yet. Angler? 2017? No. Dude, what the hell is going on? What is that cart? <laughs> what is this cart, man? Goatee is not from 2020. A level 4 mutant? Mutant. Level 3. Le you have got to be kidding me. What the hell? I thought you had it. We're being, we're being scammed right now. We're being scammed right now. Stungray? There's no way it's that card. No. Dude, someone has to have freaking DB open and can tell me what the card is, because at this point, I don't know it. I don't know it. Penguin? Reactor slime? What the hell is a reactor slime? I have never seen this card in my freaking life, man. I was never gonna guess reactor slime. That was never gonna happen, man. World champ. Don't say world champ, by the way. I've never seen this card. This has nothing to do with that. <laughs> During your main phase, you can activate this effect. Special summon two slime tokens. Also, you can't normal summon or special summon for the rest of this turn except the Vine Beasts. During the battle phase, you can tribute this card set of metal reflect slime from your hand, deck, or graveyard. It can be activated this turn. You can only use each effect once per turn. Insane. Crazy card. <laughs> All right. All right. 
the warm-up is done. Welcome, everybody, to today's stream. Uh, we have a couple of things to talk about, but mainly we're going to be um, attempting a little bit of a... I don't know, I, I wouldn't call it a speed run, but we're going to try and make Master 1 as fast as we can this month. Um, because as soon as next week happens, as soon as next week happens, I want to focus, um, obviously I want to focus a little bit on Phantom Nightmare once it comes out. And then we have YCS Vegas coming up and all that kind of stuff. So going to be putting a little bit of a focus on Master Duel until Phantom Nightmare drops. And then post Phantom Nightmare, we're going to spend a lot of time deck building, um, and so on and so forth, uh, and testing with Phantom Nightmare cards. We're not going to completely ignore Master Duel for the rest of the month. We're still going to go back once they get the new pack and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what's about to happen. At the same time, I have a little bit of an announcement to make, as some of you have already figured, um, but the announcement was not out yet. But I will be part of the, um, the second anniversary Master Duel Invitational that is happening in about two weeks, February 16th. Actually, it's tomorrow in two weeks, um, the Friday. Uh, and I'm going to be playing in this eight-man Invitational for the second anniversary of Master Duel. Uh, alongside uh, Jesse Cotton, uh, Rhyme Style, Syriax, Crip, Shield Chaos, APS, and uh, Paulo. Uh, and I'm pretty, I'm, I'm very happy uh, about the, the invitation that I got. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be hype and uh, we're going to see how it goes. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to spoil anything about the structure of the tournament and all that kind of good stuff. I'm sure they'll announce it when the time comes. Um, but just so you know, um, looking forward to to this a lot. So we're gonna be we're gonna be doing that in a little over two weeks time, and uh, it's gonna be hype. So uh, it's on the same weekend as the uh, as some of the other. All of these things are happening on the same weekend, right? There's a master duel invitational on the Friday. I believe there's a dual links invitational on the Saturday, and then there's a, this UDS champion thing on the Sunday. So it's gonna be an exciting weekend. Um, going to be taking part in the master duel one on friday and then i believe um if i have time we might just watch party the uds one together on sunday just saying it right now like we i might be live on sunday to follow the uds um champion playoff because that's also obviously after phantom nightmare releases so that's going to be technically the first event first major event after phantom nightmare drops so that's something i'm looking forward um so yeah i'm gonna be doing that will you play from home i will be playing from home yes for the master duel one there i'm not gonna be going to the us no no i'm playing i'm playing from home um but yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be cool so very much looking forward to that all right that being said we don't have anything else to to really do before bef like there's no new cards or anything like that nothing crazy that happened in the world of Yu Gi Oh. so i'm just gonna be booting up the game and i thought um it's a new season, you know, uh, I'm not really looking to play decks like Super Heavy Samurai. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of playing some different decks towards Master 1 this, this season uh, that I just want to try or that I enjoy. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing the wheel today. No, it, it wasn't meant to be a wheel stream, um, mainly because I feel like, you know, the wheel is fun every once in a while, but I don't want to make it my main way of playing Master Duel because it feels like, you know, uh always i don't want to always uh, extract uh, subs uh, you know like that that kind of stuff you know so occasionally i think it's fun but not as the main way of doing it you know like if anyone if anyone is like on a on a regular master duel stream and they're like gifting five subs and they're like hey can you can you maybe look at this deck or whatever like i'm i'm, I'm fine to do it but like I, we won't be doing the wheel every single time we play master duel right so um we're going to try some of the decks that I haven't played as much since the, the latest pack and, and, uh, and ban list. And I want to... There's one deck I wanted to try, which is the Cash Tira Zodiac list that has been going around a little bit. I want to give that a try. And it seems like a fun mid-range uh, deck for the current format. Maybe that's something we can do. Uh, I want to I wanna play some more of the Dragon deck that I've, that I've built uh, and maybe improve on it a little bit because it's... I, I don't think it's the best deck or anything, but it seems viable to me, and I, I feel like people are underestimating the power of dragon, even, like, without the baby dragons, people have just kind of discarded it completely, but I feel like it's worth maybe trying a little bit. Um, 
people are always asking me to play Monadium. We could play some Monadium, even though it's not my favorite deck, but I, I still like it more than Super Heavy Samurai. But yeah, so we could try some Monadium. Um, but I don't know. Furniture Lab is always something I'm down to play. We can also play a little bit more with the Sprite version. We can play some Vanquish Soul, some Naturia Runic. Some of that, you know, some of that. So I first thing I want to play the um the Cash Tira Zodiac, though. The idea behind this list is that it's just currently is a very hand trap heavy format, right? So Zodiac technically should be well positioned into that because you have a lot of good one card combos and you play a lot of hand traps. But at the same time, you're not weak to some of the most common hand traps in the format. Like I would say this deck isn't that bad against cards like Maxi or Droll, which would be, um, would be one advantage, right? I still don't know if it's able to keep up, but that's what, what I'm trying to find out. So let's just hop right in. Uh, this deck doesn't play Droll for a very specific reason. I think Droll is... Uh, we might end up putting Droll in, but I, I'm not sure if I love Droll in the sense that you you this deck plays a lot of hand traps. And if you don't... If you open Droll alongside multiple hand traps, I don't know how much I like it. I would rather like... I would rather have the other hand traps i think okay we have no zodiac cards but i guess we can just go for some cash tira plays then it's also fine one downside to effect veiler in this deck is that with um With Arisard, we're not going to be able to affect Veiler, but I guess with Arisard, we have Arisard, so... It's a very small Cash Tira package. Hmm... So my issue is, actually, I can, it would be, it would be playing into Nibiru, but I can, I want to end on a Rise Heart plus Fenrir, and I can. We can technically, yeah, we can even end on a Rysart Fenrir plus Unicorn. I could have just summoned the Rysart. I should I maybe I should have summoned Shangri Era before using Rysart, and then I could have Yeah, okay, well fine. It's been a while since I've played Cash. Okay, didn't get nibbed. The Arise Heart effect. Not the main goal of this deck, actually, to do the cash combos, but I suppose if you do open Unicorn ever, you can just do that. It's not the main idea of the deck, but it does. you have it available. I think this could be a solid fix in general for the Cash Tira deck, because, like, the Cash Tira Pure, I feel like, does suffer from some consistency issues, so if you supplement it with different engines, maybe that's a, that's a that makes it better, because if you ever don't open the good cash cards, you just go for Zodiac combos and vice versa. Okay, this is going to be significantly weaker. This It's a 60 card deck, so it's likely branded, which means that, you know, this Ash is going to go hard. We even have two. Hopefully it's going to go hard. But this is just dried and passed, right? I'm not missing any crazy Zodiac plays here. I'm pretty sure this is just dried and passed. Let's make it a two material dried and... Where did the beard go? Well, I I shaved it. 
that's where it went. Uh, I feel like you can put it up here just in case it blocks one of their extra monster zones. Yeah, we're starting the new season completely fresh, and it is branded. Foolish. I'm not gonna stop foolish. Or Mercurier. Interesting. Oh, I, s I see what they're trying to do. They want to, like, banish it for Albion to make Lubelion. That's smart. Why wouldn't you do that in a 60-card deck? I, I don't see a reason not to open that in 60. I, it's, all, it's not like I've played Branded and I've never opened Branded Fusion Plus Crossout even in, like, 45 or something like that. No. Branded is such a tilting deck in Master Duel. The concept behind it is actually, it's genuinely so tilting. I do crow the Albas here, I'm pretty sure. Hoping they have to... Yeah, okay, they have to... What, what does that make? Regostapelia with the Merc. All right. It's annoying because it's going to stop my... It's going to just run over my Dryden, but... Oh. I was hoping that the Ash would go through and then I could win the long game by just banishing the Branded Fusion with Crow when they try to add it back. But obviously now, I mean, I, I, I just genuinely don't think we can win this now. Because even if I, I, like, I need to top deck something crazy and even then it's probably not enough. just a combination of going first with a very lackluster hand and then them having the cross out plus branded fusion in 60 cards which is probably not beatable for us in general oh. not, not sure if that helps it should I mean it depends what the back row is of course Mm. Grab a whip tail in the graveyard, I suppose. Uh, Borbo. I guess I can make a big. Um, I it's probably just make a big Zeus, right? Like it's make it's Borbo attack directly. Uh, then go Dryden to force the Dragostapelia. I feel like is what I need to do. The problem with the Zeus is that it's a light monster. So if the set is super poly, which is, I feel like, relatively likely. Uh, they could super poly the, Alu the Aluber plus the Zeus. So... Yeah, 
They can negate the Borbo. Yeah, it wouldn't do anything. Dragostapelia negates activated effects. The effect of Borbo that it can attack directly is not an activated effect. That's not how that works. Yeah, I'm going to prior with the Zeus. But still, like, the problem is... The problem is going to be... Okay. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter for them. Playing around talents? I, I guess. Fair enough. Oh, no. They have banishment. That's why. But can they fuse? No. Uh, it's still... It's smart. Uh, but not that smart. Like, it's not that bad for me. Because now I can't bait it anymore with the with the Zeus. But I can just put the Zeus there. Because I have two Zeus activations, right? This. And now what happens is if they if they preemptively activate their Dragostapelia, I just chain Zeus. Um, so these two just stare each other down. And if at any point I want to Zeus, I'm just going to have to do it twice. Because I'll do it once they chain Drago, I chain it again, and then it still goes off, right? But I, I can't preemptively Zeus now, because they would chain Drago, and I would have to chain it, and I would be out of materials. I'm just going to have to, you know, we're just staring. The problem is that we run out of stuff in the extra deck really fast, and this list does not play part of Avarice, which I... I like Pot of Avarice in Zodiac, but no one seems to be playing it. I looked at I looked at some lists this morning before I built this deck. No one was using it. But I do kind of like the card, but yeah. Okay, they milled Cartesia. They that. Yeah, Thrust into Avarice is good for both the Zoo and Striker. It's true. If I was playing a going second Zodiac, which we can experiment without, uh, we can experiment with that. Uh, you could be playing like Thrust Talents and then like one part of Avarice to just, you know. These 60 card branded builds seem so bad to me. They are. Oh, they are, but they, they somehow always get there. So maybe they're not, but they, they are. They only work if you're delusional, but if you're delusional, they work really well. The problem is, because of that grass, they will just now outgrind us easily. Even if they won't do much else this turn, and probably won't be able to out the Zeus, they just have, have it all. They have Branded in High Spirits, Cartesia, Granguignol in the Graveyard, everything. They probably drew Talents, that's why they're doing this, but I still have to do it. Like It's not like I can't play around it. They also have another Alubur in the graveyard because they milked the second one, right? So they can go Alubur now and negate my Zeus.
beautiful stuff yeah very beautiful getting high rolled by branded is the most beautiful thing ever yeah thumbs completely incohesive 60 card pile is the most beautiful thing you've ever seen i would believe that because i mean you've only been playing branded so you you wouldn't know Dude, I'm drawing rice art like it's my freaking job. Mm. What would I rather get drawled on? Fenrir? I mean, I definitely start with Fenrir. But do I search with Fenrir first or do I use Tanky first? I feel like since I already have a zoo, I, I'd rather grab the unicorn. Do you sometimes regret winning worlds with the amount of memeing from chat? Uh, no. No, I don't. I think a good amount of memeing is just okay. You know, like it's, co it's completely fine with me. I don't actually mind it. Most of the things that I rant about on stream, I don't actually mind. It's just part of the... Part of the culture, you know? Like, on stream, on Twitch. So there is a combo with Ram Ram and Thoroughblade that lets you end on Utopic Draco Future plus Dryden. However... That combo does not have material on the Dryden't, right? And it would play into it would play into what's it called? Into Nibiru, which I'm not sure how popular Nibiru is right now in Master Duel. I feel like most of the time it's not that not very like popular the question is what's the alternative if i don't want to play into nibiru what can i do here like i can just dried and pass uh which would be possible in four summons it would if you also use rice heart um so if i special rice heart what you're saying is make Chakanine the hard way first. So I can summon it. Hmm. That does work. Okay, let's do that. Let's let's risk the Nibiru. Let's risk the Nibiru. In order to potentially go, they have something. If it's infirm, I'm pretty sure that's fine. <laughs> okay, that's not what I said. <laughs> okay, that opener was not that crazy, but I suppose we just leave to that. Okay, fair enough. What were you playing? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Should we try a going second version of this deck? I f I'm not that scared of, of going second in, in the current ranked format because I don't see as many super heavies. All right. Start with a Ram Ram. 
Ram Ram Barrage has to make. That hand just has to make. Dryden plus thingy, right? There's no way it doesn't. Actually, there's a way it doesn't. Pop Ram? I mean, if I pop Ram now, I can't revive with it. I can revive with it later. That is full combo? Okay, hold up. I haven't looked into the Zodiac combos whatsoever. So if, you, if I pop Ram Ram here... I'm basically, I'm in the same spot as I would be had I opened Whiptail plus, like, Thoroughblade plus Ram Ram, right? It's a Zodiac on the board and a Ram Ram in the graveyard. So if I go for F0 plus Dryden, I won't have a material on the Dryden, right? Because that's the way the combo works. You wouldn't have, uh, you wouldn't have a material on Dryden. I still think F0 is better than Dryden overall, so I think it's worth going for it. Um, so, okay. It is F0 plus Dryden. It is F0 plus Dryden still. By doing... Let me see if I can... I, 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 I think I remember the combo. So you have to Chakinine, bring back the Ram Ram. Then you have to go Dryden. Yep. You have to Dryden your own Ram Ram. Ram Ram brings back the Chakinine. The reason you have to do this is because the Ram Ram can't be used as Xyz material. Then you have to Tiger Mortar. You don't have a way to play around there with this line, no, no. So Tiger Mortar reattaches a material to the Chakinine. Because Chakinine is not hard once per turn, so you can use it again to revive. And here you can bring back a Dryden and then two of these two make a F0, right? The problem is if you bring back the Dryden here and you have to do it this way, you can't do it any other way. The Dryden has to be in the graveyard because you always have to do Dryden first and then Tiger Motor on top of that Dryden. I, I, with, the, with two cards, I don't think there's a way around it. I think it's better to bring back Ram Ram here because the Dryden won't have material anyways. And if you have a Whip Tail in hand, you can have a material on the Dryden at any point. But since I don't, you had to barrage pop itself. And then what? I have a Ram Ram and another Zodiac on the field. And then I do what? I don't have anything in the graveyard at that point. I don't have a Zodiac in the graveyard if you do that. And then I can't detach from anything. Barrage will attach to Dryden? Well, I won't have one yet. The problem is if you just normal summon Ram Ram, like you, you need something in the graveyard. You need something in the graveyard for all of your Zodiac effects to work, right? You can't use Tiger Mortar or Chakanine if nothing's in the graveyard yet. So I'm not entirely sure what line you're referring to. If I go Zodiac Barrage pop itself, I don't know what I do there. Dude, Axe of Fools, dude. It's freaking Mikanko. I'm tilted. Connector. All right, sick. The good news is Ghost Ogre should be pretty good here. Uh, well, yeah, 
yeah, I think I have to ghost ogre that. This is a warrior! I'm so pissed. Why is this a warrior? That's so messed up, man. You think they play Zeus? Aren't all Utopia warriors? Yeah, I was more like because it's called Draco Future, you know, maybe it's a dragon. This is potentially the most cringe sequencing that has ever happened to me in Master Duel, because it's also four summons exactly. No, three even. That's so cringe. The freaking Axe of Fools. Do I summon unicorn? Force them to Zeus so I can top deck another one card combo next turn? I don't think so. Maybe they play into Zeus. Uh, into Nib, I mean. Any remote duels anytime soon? So after Phantom Nightmare comes out, I think we're going to do a lot of remote duels. Uh, like, uh, I have to... I, I'm going to be, like... We're going to be playing uh, a lot of the different decks from Phantom Nightmare. We're going to build a lot, and we're going to play a lot. Uh, Oliver... Uh, this is not a warrior. I hope they go for some... I, I mean, there's a chance they play into Nib here, and then we can just win. The problem is, if they play into Nib, my unicorn is gonna be dead. Well, we'll see. This is Baron? Well, yeah, if they just make Baron, we probably lose. Is this just Infernoble before it's actually viable? Three. Maybe I sold now? Little greedy, huh? Come on. Oh, 
Okay. What's the card in their hand? Fire Dance. Especially Mikanko from Hand or Grave, equipped with this card, special summon a monster. The problem is, as soon as, like, they're gonna immediately know I have Nib, which is a little annoying to me. Unless I toggle off, right? But then it's my uh, it's scary if they just go battle phase. Uh, it's 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 a tough toggling situation. They banished three. Uh, they sent three for a hare. I don't think that toggle was sneaky enough. I'm pretty sure they know. Which maybe I should have just nipped here, because if what if they go Apo? This whole toggling thing is it 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 it's it should not be part of the game. It makes me mold. It takes so much skill out of it when uh, you you your opponent just gets a free read on you for holding a Nibiru. It's actually. So what? <laughs> this is so cringe, man. Can't I just attack the Appaloosa here, at least? The problem is Zeus is going to attach another card. I can also just double the Zeus, no? I feel like I, sh I should have done that. I don't know why they gave me this utopic future. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, we were gonna win that game. Toggle destroyed me. I should have. I said it before, though. Like, I, I, I should have just realized it. Like, if I realized it two seconds earlier, we win this game. But it's my bad. Make Typhon. <laughs> if only, man. We're not immediately dead here, unless they have something in the grave that, I, that I'm that i ignoring. I don't think I'm dead here. Because they have to, like, they can crash. I take 24. They can attack over, and then I take 800. It's not technically game, but it's practically over. Oh, they can, yeah, yeah. Oh, they can just use Zeus, right. That's, that's true. They can use Zeus. They would die if I had Ghost. Oh, no, they have this. Yeah, okay, we don't. Yeah, I threw that. 
I threw that one. Very annoying. The, the problem with hoggling is it's just something that you can't really avoid. I can't even think of an alternative. Do it! I play 15 hand traps and one rice heart. On average, I'm opening one rice heart and zero to one hand traps, roughly. Wait, no effect? That probably means they can chain continue here. I'd be surprised if they don't have it. Oh, called by as well. Okay. That's fine. I don't mind that. It's not that important that this resolves. It's just that DD Crow is not very good against Vanquish Soul, so I'm happy to have any use here for it. No way they play continue. Continue is like is like staple, I feel like. Normally, you want to be playing around... Uh, oh, wait. All three? They actually don't play continue. Sick. Love that for me. I mean, you have a Jiao Long and a Mad Love. So. I'm not too worried, am I? I have. The problem is, I mean, even if they draw Raisin, I can Veiler it. What I would. I would kind of like to have a um a Dryden't like even for one draw I feel like that's worth it like summoning my thought process is I take Whiptail I normal summon Radpeer I make a Dryden't in one summon to destroy the Jowlong right and then because I have Whiptail in hand I can um I can attach it to the Dryden't whenever I want so I, I have a Dryden with two pops with just one special summon. I feel like that's okay. I don't think I actually use Ratpeer here because I want to draw a Zodiac next turn. Oh wait, no, I can't pop this turn because of the, the trap. You're right. Uh, I mean, then I'm just going to make a Dryden. Now that I have normal summon, I, I need to make Dryden. Ooh, they drew a fire mo oh no they drew a fire monster or it could also be borger it's ash okay it's ash it's not raisin okay So Ash, Madlove, one other card, and they're not playing... Okay, they drew Magnamut. That's not Raisin, so I'm not going to complain about it. It's a good card, though.
I won't have any other Veiler target, so I'll do it. I mean, at this point, I don't see anything that stops me from just doing a very, very, very big um, Zeus next turn. Actually, they can. If they really want to, they can stop me from doing it. Because what they can do is they can normal summon Mad Love, make Rock, add back Zhao Long, and then on my turn, they can summon Zhao Long from hand to turn my Exceed into defense position. They could stop it if they do that. Dust Devil also outs UDF if they'd be on it. They are not on it. They are they've been summoning the Mad Love without using the effect two times now, so. They add back. They have it. Okay, they have the change position play. It's not bad. Not bad. Ooh, barrage though. Barrage though. That's pretty good. Best top deck? I'm pretty sure a unicorn would have been a pretty much a lot better of a top deck here, but okay. Sure, go ahead. Just yap all about. Um So gonna normal summon whip tail. Activate Barrage. Uh, the ordering doesn't really matter here because I know both the cards in their hand. They have Ash for Barrage anyways, so it's not going to work this turn, but it's good in the grind game to have Barrage up. Yeah. Oh, actually, no. Now they can't prevent Zeus anymore because they don't have a fire. Yeah, this is perfect. Uh, Mando Neato, thank you for the seven months. Welcome back. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, we can just... Uh... This works. We just make a big... Zeus. They should add back here. Okay, hold up. Can only target monsters for attacks. Can I attack directly or not? I'm not sure. No? Okay. Then I have to continue my main phase. Okay. While you control a Vanquish Soul monster, your opponent's monsters can only target monsters you control with the highest attack for attacks. So I think that means I can't attack directly. You can test it? Well, I mean, I can test it, but the problem is if, if I can't attack directly, it's a much better play to go Dryden first, pop the Jiao Long, and then attack the Rock. Like, if I go into the battle phase and then I can't attack directly, it's an absolute disaster. So... I'm pretty sure you can't. That's why I'm doing it this way. The cool thing here is that we're not forced to Zeus at all yet. We can just chill on it. Yep, yeah, okay.
Let's see if we can make diamond four with this, and then we'll swap. How does that sound? It's like two or three more wins. Okay, decent hand. Is that 40 card branded? That is 40 card branded. Okay. Wait, why this one? Puppet lock? I mean, I have a DD Crow. That's the problem. I would love to crow the Lubellion here. Uh, but if I get puppet locked. Do I mourner the Magnamut? How do they get the puppet in the graveyard at this point? Because they don't have Cartesia right now. It's not puppet lock. If it's not puppet lock, why did they why the hell did they summon this? I'm confused. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Why is, why is this voice so expensive? Because it's like the... I mean, it, the, the, the problem is that it's a, a deck that people want to look into from the newest set. And the newest set doesn't have a lot of very good secret rares. And so that makes it so that the one secret rare that people do want three copies of is, um, is very sought after and expensive. It has to carry a lot of the weight from the secret rare section of um, Phantom Nightmare. Is 
this is an FTK? Really? Surely four hand traps is enough. The bot broke. <laughs> Goodbye, bot. Yeah. What chat overlay are you using? Um, it's just a, st a stream elements tool that I'm using. Also, someone earlier said I would love to see you grind in one of the Duelist Cups again. Uh, I That is something I will probably do at some point. It's just that for the last two, I didn't have time on the weekend. But at some point, I have I have plans to, to do this again. The whole, like, you know, stream for an entire weekend kind of thing. Uh, 60 cards, once again. Dude, branded is everywhere. They had something on the on the Thorough Blade, like Valor or Imperm. Um, do I use my Borbo here? No. So what is it, Imperm? Can't be a Bistial yet. Oh, Zephyr GX, thank you for the kind words. Appreciate you. Welcome back. All right. This is my problem, unironically, with um, with Zodiac is that even if you open one card combo with hand traps, you just don't have follow up because you don't have Broad Bull anymore. Like, if you could do all this, like, your board doesn't even need to be crazy. But just the fact that, like, you don't have it doesn't search follow-up at all is kind of cringe. Uh, would it be that bad if they brought back Broad Bull? I guess, I guess it would be because it's so generic. Like, for because it can search other cards too. Maybe they should just make a new Zodiac that only searches Zodiacs. That, sh that has to be fine, right? Like, that would have to be okay. I think the biggest problem is that it searches every Beast Warrior. Just Arata Broad Bowl? I, I guess they could it, it would be the same thing. I would I'd be more of a fan of them printing a new card. I'm not the biggest fan of just Arataing it. I'd rather see a new card than changing an old card. Okay.
The punk spell is too powerful. Oh, you draw a card if you target. I, I always forget about this. I should have ashed it. Fucking secret ass effect, dude. Watch them draw the field spell with it. Do I have to nib on res here? Because they could make Punisher. I feel like the answer is yes. Man, I wish I I wish I ashed that uh that wagon. Okay, Ghost Ogre, I need to be careful of. Problem is, that token is freaking big, man. I have to get rid of that. Okay. Uh, Booble, thank you for that. Uh, yeah, that's something I've been planning on doing. Um, so essentially, essentially, the problem, quote unquote, is that it's very unnatural to have someone in the Discord call with you, uh, and then interrupt them to talk about the plays that you're about to do because i would have to go mute on discord so they don't hear my thought process and so on and so forth but it's technically something i want to i want to find a way to to do it oh this is main phase only even better okay we don't even have to waste the battle phase for it It makes so much of a difference here um, that they have one extra card. Because just imagine, like, they would either not have this back row. They would not have had... I guess maybe if they drew this, it wouldn't have mattered. Because this actually helped me. But if, if they this Imperm is com completely destroys me. Um, and if, if that's the card they drew, well, I suppose my... The fact that I had Ash left was really good against the Trap card, though. They had a response early. Yeah, that's true. I mean, technically we're okay. Uh, no, we're not okay because they have Ogre for the birth. Like, in, we, we do lose here unless we top deck something next turn.
Maybe if you open this many hand traps, it's better to just go Dryden in four summons. This deck is not great. Yeah, we might be switching. We might be switching. Where is the tier list Thursday? Dude, we literally... I, updated, I, up, I, I uploaded a Master Duel tier list yesterday. So if you're actually serious... And want a master duel tier list? Uh, it's on my YouTube. Since yesterday, literally, dude, a Louvre Lupine with Thunder Dragon Dark. Okay. And I opened two tankies, by the way, against um, two tankies and the Rysard against Thunder Dragon. Sick. Could not be happier. Ooh, that's a nice looking Colossus, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, they're redrawing their entire hand. That's scary. We need a better deck. And we need better luck too, because some of these are not a deck issue. Some of these are outrageous. Mm, let's play some lab. Let's play something broken.
It's not like my deck has 15 hand traps or some shit like that. Have you considered going first? No, it's not something that seems to be an option today. It seems like something that we just won't be doing today. So... Yeah, that's that. Oh, this is like... Uh, now, after that last game, I'm, that's probably like a Flunder matchup. If we draw Maxi Nib. Although, considering it's 50 cards, probably not. Sick. 50 cards, hard draw unicorn. Love that for me. Normal summon tier cash. Mill three. Okay. Is it tier? Oh, it is some tier. Danger, whatever. Oh. Yeah, sick. Wait, so what? Can't be destroyed by card effects while it has material. Say goodbye, Malong. Dude, why did I freaking banish my Malong? <sighs> I don't want it to be an attack position. Win Twisters. If I chain Punishment, it, it won't be destroyed, but I could send Bucephalos into Garoa. It's three activations, though. It's a lot of... I'm not going to. Screw it. I don't think I need more card draw. I think I'm winning this regardless. Uh...
So can this attack? Uh, can this die by battle? Yeah. So I just attack it. Dude, where did your cards go? I can also just bounce it. This gets rid of birth as well. Dude, what happened, man? What happened? Okay, well. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> I'm not asking questions. I'll just take my dub. Oh, I was not prepared for that. I thought we were just going second. Hey. Hmm. It's a little awkward because if I use my furniture i have to discard something for it there's two options i feel like we can discard big welcome labyrinth which would technically be the best discard if welcome labyrinth resolves um but i think i'm, I'm thinking we have to discard the nibiru to get both trap cards just to be safe set chandra set two no you insta lose to ash if they if that's if you do that Oh, is that super heavy with Archfiend Eccentric in the main deck? Please don't target punishment. I don't think they have Ash. They're not like saving Ash for next game. I'm pretty sure it's just not that. They have a different card that they can use. Crow. There you go. It's Crow. Which, I'm gonna be honest with you, I feel like they should have just kept it in hand for the chance that I hit it because I don't care about Crow. Yeah, they lost one of their starter cards now. Which wasn't their only one, but still. So... Do you think they would have gammaed on the... Because so far, the only thing they could have gammaed was the furniture in hand and the furniture in the graveyard. Do we think they would have gammaed? Because if we don't think they would have gammaed, max seeing here is pretty good. We can do a little bit of a safety play. We can do Lady first to give them a chance to gamma. Nice. 
doesn't look like a response window. So I'm feeling safe. Yep. Okay. Wonderful. Roll yourself now. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wait, what are you going to do now? <laughs> Soul piercer. What were you going to... Oh my god. I'm so confused. <laughs> People out here really think Droll is an answer to Maxi in Super Heavy Samurai. That is hilarious. Uh, I don't really need anything. It's just Jover anyways. <laughs> oh, that's that's the sign. Their profile picture is... Uh, is yep. <laughs> that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> Dude, that's you can say about Super Heavy Samurai whatever you want, but winning against that deck feels extra good. Losing to it feels extra bad, but winning against it feels extra good. No matter what happens, usually it feels very, very good. Whenever you beat it. So it has its that's one of its uh, advantages, I suppose. <laughs> what was the name of the song before? Uh, I can check for you. Hold up. The one before this one was What I've Done by Linkin Park. And how did you not know that? Ah, Shifter against two Nadir Servants. Sick. I hope they can't do anything. Because then this isn't too bad. Cool. Okay. That's good. Then add... How does this... This doesn't add anything. Right? You don't add. Yeah, you don't add. Interesting. I feel like we could outgrind this um, with punishment. Punishment seems pretty strong here. Let go. I did not expect that card. I was more thinking like one of the other ones, but... The problem is this will banish one of our cards. So we just have to hope. I can't watch. I can't watch. I can't. I can't. Oh, thank God, dude. So this searches a spell trap. Do I blow this up immediately? Do I want to let it detach? I don't think I do want this to detach. I mean, but what's the worst thing that happens if if I let the if I let it detach? Like if I let it detach, it searches packs. Pack searches Martha, then they summon Martha, and then what? Like, I can still punishment with Entis. Did 
They combo? How do they combo? It's just one monster. They have something. Could be Maxi. They could add Carpe Diem. I don't know if they play that, but sure. No, it's not Pax because Pax is only main phase. So this is not Pax. This, the card that they have is not Pax. It's the, that's why it's most likely, I would say, Maxi is the only thing I can think. Yeah, they don't have a Martha. Okay, good, good, good. So the reason I did this play was because even if they have Martha, I'm going to draw one from Ariana and I'm going to draw one from Garura. And Lady is going to set one card. So even Martha, I think I can win the grind game against. <clears throat> Whereas if I let them get the Martha for free, if I have to let them get the Martha for free, they, like, I have to, for I have to send Entis and not Garura, so I get one less draw. And if they, they, they don't need Martha in hand to, to keep playing, they can have any Exosister, because they will have, um, yeah, 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 okay. Okay. Adventure Phantom Knight is tier 3, no way. I wouldn't say it's tier 3, no. I unironically think um, you could play Phantom Knight stuff, Horus maybe, in the TCG right now, and you could consider that a viable deck. Not like tier 1 or anything, but like playable. I think the Adventure Engine is just really bad in, um, in Master Duel. Because you only have two, what is it, two right, one enchantress, that just is too small. That's not enough reason for me to put all those things into the deck. So the problem is, how do I make use of my gamma here? Do I just discard it? Or do I try to bait something? I think I discard it, because it's 60 cards. They're not that likely to have a hand trap, are they? Do I want to summon this? Yeah. I'll bounce it. So I don't play anything, like, it's 60 cards, I would probably go for, I would probably go for a, um, what's it called, a dimensional barrier if I played it, but I don't. Um, I feel like IDP is usually pretty good against 60 card decks, though. The Ruma Karma Cannon is also good, but what I'm thinking is if they go Branded Fusion and I don't negate it, they're going to have an Albaz in the graveyard and a dragon on the field, so I can just go Ice Dragon's Prison to banish both. That seems like a strong play to me. And I mean, realistically, I'm going to be able to get multiple traps anyways, because I have Kuklok, Lady, and everything. Like, I can probably set another trap of my choosing next turn as well, if I want to. If they go Lubellion, they can still get Mirror Jade. Yeah, but I I'm going to have more back row, you know? It's an effect veiler. Okay, that's not too bad. That is not too bad. All right, give me back my Chandelier. Uh, Normal Summon Ariana. Uh, not the field spell. It's probably, like, the thing is, I, I don't mind having Big Welcome in the graveyard as a bounce. I'm completely okay with that. 
so I don't really feel like getting big welcome here. Or like I could also do the play where I make Muckraker revive my lovely so I can still reset it. But I don't really see why I would do that. I think the bounce from it is actually quite good. Um, could get Stovey. I could get Stovey, but I think it's just regular welcome, no? Because if I get Stovey, Stovey, I could use Stovey right now to get welcome, which might be better. Just to have the Stovey in rotation, right? Yeah, I don't I don't see a reason not to do that. Just get the Stoby out of out of the deck into the graveyard. So we set welcome lab. And we pass. And we are gonna have we're gonna have a lot of disruption here, but it's still not unwinnable for them, depending on like a card like Super Poly could mess me up bad here. That's a good start. Unfortunately, I, I hate to report that that is one of the cards that might beat us. Uh, okay, so they've milled Branded Fusion. And Serenir, so they can get Branded Fusion. But that's the only thing that they triggered right now, so it's not too bad right off the bat. They have a Branded in High Spirits... An Albion. Yeah, it's not too bad. No tragedy. Yeah. Two Albaz is milled. Two Albaz milled. So, that's that. Snipe Branded Fusion? No, 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 no. Not likely enough. It's a shame. It really is a, sh a shame I don't play um, Dimensional Barrier for this matchup. Maybe it's worth it in Master Duel right now. It might be. The problem with this is that they have so many Albazes in Grave now that I can't really prevent anything with IDP. I do run Imperm. I do run Imperm. Maybe maybe I could have chained. Uh, is what you're what you're saying is I should have chained uh, Welcome Lab and Ku Clock so I get an Imperm for the thing. Maybe if that's what you're saying, I think I think that's reasonable. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Oh, they drew the third Albas. That's good for us. That is good for us. And they have to discard a branded opening. Okay. And they use tragedy. Um, do I respond here? I feel like I have to. If I bounce this back, they can't make Mirror Jade yet. They have to make... Yeah. So I bounce this. Which does play into Alubur, but they're turn player, so they can't prevent my lovely, because it's going to be Chainlink 1, Alubur, whatever. There is no D barrier. Otherwise, we would not be sitting here letting them branded fuse. Don't worry. Okay, they add Quem with tragedy. Lubelion resolves.
Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, if the, uh, the Lubelion is out, so if they make Albion now, I can IDP that one, and then they're out of ways to fuse. Oh, wait, they made Sanctifier? Wait, what? Why'd they make Sanctifier? Don't you just pop? No, I don't even need to pop that, do I? Do I care about Sanctifier? I don't feel like I care about this thing. I can, like, IDP it whenever I want. Chain Max C to draw one. Chain Max C to draw one. I guess I chain my Welcome Lab now, because I don't want them to get a draw off of it later. Sure. That's also good against my IDP. That's actually a very good draw that they... Probably was their sixth draw as well. The, the card they drew for turn. So that would um that would be annoying. So the one card in hand is Quem. And they chain opening to stop my lovely from working. Uh, my lady. So I just chain IDP now. So they also don't drop her that. And I will banish one of their I'll take their royal Albaz away. Take their royal Albaz away. Chain this. Chain that. I'm thinking just... I'll just grab the Ruma. That's the safest in my eye. Like, I just have the Ruma ready to go. So, yeah, okay, kick. So in, like, very good openers, you don't actually need D-Barrier against Lab. It just requires a little bit more thinking, a little bit more, like, work to, uh, you know, to, to do that, but, yeah. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll... Uh, we ranked up, so we're gonna play a, a different deck in a second. Uh... This was the Labyrinth list. I think you should probably try to fit a D-Barrier in here somewhere. I don't know what you would cut. Maybe a Nibiru. I don't know. Uh, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll see you in a minute. Need to go to the toilet really quick. Also, uh, I just got an email that um, all the stuff that I ordered to make the streaming setup for, for IRL um, is arriving today. So I'm going to prepare it all over the weekend and we're going to have hopefully a much better remote uh, quality next week. 
Okay, what do we what do we swap to? What are we feeling? Let's play some dragons. Just play a little bit of everything today. This deck, in theory, should be pretty solid against um against branded. With the amount of brands we that we've been seeing, that seems like a good thing. Silari <clears throat> card, thank you for the 11 months. Appreciate you. Welcome back. Thank you for supporting the channel with your prime subscription. It means a lot to me. Thank you. <laughs> there he is. Good start. Good start. I mean, that would that that's the same thing with every single deck. Like, you don't open an out to Super Heavy Samurai. They open a one card combo. You leave the game. I would um I would honestly be interested in the stat of how many people immediately leave the game if the opponent uses Vakaushi or bike or whatever. The, that stat has to be over 50%. With my entire hand is dead to that card. I was just about to say, hey, my hand is pretty good. My entire hand does nothing anymore. We go seals. Well, what they got they playing? Cash. That's the worst matchup for seals. Uh, we just bounced that, I'm pretty sure. I've never been violated like this. I've never in my life been violated like this. Like, what the fuck is going on? Shifter, Maxi, Gamma, Race Soft, dude. Can I play one normal game is my question. Like one normal game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where I'm not getting completely shit on by custom hands. That's all I want for today. That's the normal Yu-Gi-Oh experience. It's more like the normal Master Duel experience at the moment.
Ooh, they're scared of a little trap card. I see. Okay. Scared of a little trap card, are you? Okay. Uh, well. Romulus fetches Dragon Ravine. Dragon Ravine discards the Meteor Dragon. Send Absorouter search sa thingy. Uh, we wouldn't. We could. If I discard Called by, this ends on Seal Savage. If I discard Called by, I can end on Seal Savage. What hands make the Seals Borland end board? I don't play Borland in this version because I don't really make it very often. I could also just go... No, it's it's never just seals here. I would also imperm the chain with it. No, it can be all right. I mean, it can be all right. It's more like uh, it gives us the information that they are a freaking god at this game because I open called by and they just open double imperm. It just keeps happening. Cool. Uh, I usually just give them away to um, some of my vendor friends that actually have uses for commons. Uh, thank you for the two months, by the way. And good decision to get into the TCG from Master Duel. <laughs> I support that decision. So if I don't use seals on the cyber dragon, they just make mega fleet. Wait, they have talents and don't use. I die, right? Sure, I, I'm dead. What is happening? Cyber Twin Dragon? I'm not even mad. That's impressive. Uh, it's a rough day today. <laughs> We're getting high rolled so hard today. God damn. 
how many games with Dragon Link is that now? I feel like three out of four games with Open Recharger. You don't play real decks, that's why? Why don't you let me decide what real decks are? Mm. That's fair enough. The strongest board known to man. It's a shame it's about to get called by the grave. Sure. Uh, and if you do, okay. Yeah, we're going to have to give them one draw. We have no way around it because the seals graveyard is a mandatory trigger. What do I summon here? It's gonna. I can bounce whatever I summon here. I guess it's Baldrake. They get one draw. Question is, do they have Vakaushi as well or not? Nope. Heals pass. Have you tried Runic Orchest Bestial in Master Duel? Uh, no, I haven't. I have not tried. I mean, have I tried Orchest since they brought the? Uh, no, we, we we I haven't played Orchest in a while. But it's just not worth it. I don't think. <laughs> what do you have to do? For me to play your flu list? That's a good question. Probably wait when until I do a wheel uh, stream. The spinning wheel has flu on it, but um like I'm not gonna flu no matter I'm not gonna play flu no matter how kindly you ask. Dude, everyone just hates uh the trap. The dragon mate trap. They all hand trap these. Well, I'm not gonna call by it because I have my own Ash. Like that's that just seems that doesn't seem very good. I think there was an event where we played Orcus. In an event, maybe. Maybe in an event, yeah. So the question here is do we go Baldrake to end on seals? 
Or do we just leave it at this? It's probably seals, right? Probably seals. Do we ash the maxi or called by the maxi? It's my next question. What's the more valuable card? The best opener. Rhoda. Ooh, is that Vanquish Soul? Likely, right? I think I ash that. Oh, it's tear. Okay, that's better for me. That is better for me because, uh, like, Raisin is better than Rhino Heart here. But, okay, Scream is scary. We'll see. But, I mean, Seals goes pretty good. Goes pretty hard against Kikkalos. So, this mill three hit one halfness. They play Meek. They play Manadium cards in here. That's extra scary. Tier cash, yeah. Havness, tier cash. No. Mill Fenrir and reframing. Okay. There's Kid Colos. Okay, depends what they, um, they search tier cash. Oh. I think it's Magna. And then we shall see what happens. Tier cash is life, but that means the other card in their hand is a tier, right? Because they have nothing in the grave. Oh, they, they mailed a cash tier. Never mind. They mailed. I, I I was checking for tier element cards, but. Uh, okay, they mailed halfness, but they've already used it. They mailed right card, which only matters if they have a rival in hand. And they go battle phase. Okay, wonderful. That's good. Vibing. Vi Bing. Set one. Oh, I hope that's not. Okay. I feel like we can outgrind this. This should be one of the better matchups for us. If we have any, if this deck has any good matchups, it should be the tier limit or branded of this, of this format. Black metal is a good draw. Activate Lubelion. Meta noise would be bad for us. That's true. Uh, if it's meta noise, it would be better for me if I went normal summon chamber because I would at least get the trap card for the grind game. If it's Saliac though, it's way better to summon middle. Which 
I guess you play one of each, right? Saliak is limited, so it's max one Saliak. Do you think they play multiple meta noise because of that? I don't. They play Manadium cards too. There's no way they play multiple meta noises. Hmm. Go black metal. Let's go for broke. Mill three, three spells. Get owned. Uh, I kind of feel like summoning Magnamut from the graveyard. That seems pretty good. I could summon Chamber from hand to grab the trap card. That's also good because I'm not going to win this turn. Um, do I play Dark? I don't. Oh. Huh. I like I like Magna more. We just need to keep the best deals coming, then we outgrind this easy. No need to to go over the top with anything here. We can just we can just outgrind. Get regained rolling as well. Question is, like, I feel, I feel like we have to double with this red eyes because I don't see a different way how we are easily going to get rid of this tier cash and I do want to get rid of it. Uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we go... Because the problem is, if I, if I send it with Druid's Worm, for example, which is something I could do, if I send it with Druid's Worm, it gets to mill too, which is unnecessarily dangerous. Um, I think we crash it. I think we crash it, run over the Rhino Horde, summon Druusworm as well. I'm going to banish my own card with Druusworm because I want to recycle. With, um, Regained. Well, that's huge. It was meta noise. Why didn't you meta noise the what? If you meta noised my normal summon. Good Lord, that was going to be crazy. What? That was the one card I thought it couldn't possibly be, because that makes no sense to me. But alright, I guess goodbye to your Sharon. Halfness is limited, right? Yeah. And ironically, I think we can we can send this tier cash away with Druid's Worm. I don't think anything crazy can happen. Wait, what do they have? Reframing? Target up to three Manadiums. Oh, they have reframing. Okay. I think I can I think I can send it. I don't think it's that dangerous to send it. Cause sure, they can get a card from this, maybe if they mill like Saliak or something like that. 
but they can't get a fusion that's the most important thing they cannot get a fusion monster here which is the only thing that i'm really scared of as long as they don't mill if like as long as they can't get a fusion it's fine yeah they get a trap from scream i'd rather have them have a trap than have tier cash on the board so that's fine let, let them have the trap that's okay Yeah, they have a crime in hand now. All right, so we get a backup Bastille here from Magna, which is going to be Baldrake. And that should be, I mean, we have Seals and Baldrake to cover for the one card in their hand. Which, if it's a tier limit and they can mill with Scream, like maybe if it's like Rhino Heart, it'd be somewhat scary, but yeah. Nice. Okay. Damn, it's almost like if we're getting normal games with normal RNG, I can win with even not the best decks in Master Duel, but... Alright. How about a Slifer Lab... I, what, what is a Slifer Lab list? <laughs> Why are you trying to make me play weird decks? I'm scared. What is your What is your mission? Uh, okay. I, I'm i gonna go out on a limb here and say we're probably gonna see another turn. Our mission is content. I might, unironically, I might make a stream happen where you guys can submit weird or funny decks for me to play. Um, it's not something I'm gonna do on just like a regular stream, like interrupt normal Master Duel gameplay to build a Slifer Labyrinth deck or something like that. Oh god, is that even, is that good for me or is that bad for me? I have no idea. I feel like it's bad for me simply because my hand traps don't feel like the greatest for this particular matchup. So this is just add two. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to draw them. Mikanko Nemleria. Do I care about Ohime? Instant regret. No, no, no. I still, I need to draw with Maxi. That's why. Like, I need to draw with Maxi. Because I my hand does not play the game. It's important that I try and draw cards with Maxi. So I'm I'm I still would not draw in hindsight. This card and Emlet. That's a light monster at least that I can theoretically call by and then draw a card with a regained. Maxi. Thoughts? Ash. That's one way to lose to Nim Leria Mikanko if you just draw hand traps only. That is one way to do it.
was trying to put the driver to the far right, I, but it's, I, I doubt it's going to matter. Yeah. The cool thing here is that these get banished, so I get to draw with regained, which is actually really important. That's the main reason I used the gamma. I wanted to make sure... <laughs> I hate to do this, but I think it's put back driver. Okay, there we go. Obviously, sick, great decision, phenomenal gameplay. <laughs> They're still gonna have Maxi. That's just the kind of universe that we live in. No maxi? Is any do any of the Nemleria guys that they added have a quick effect? Or what's going on? Maybe they want to hold the maxi to get a gear. What what happened? And I'm not just saying this because Nemle because this was Nemleria, because this this was literally a fever dream. What was this game, man? Okay, if we win one more, we actually get back with the rank up with the dragon deck. Which wouldn't make me feel as bad about it, because the first couple games were horrible. Alright, we gotta go second though, but this deck plays like infinite hand traps, so it should be alright, depending on the opponent's deck. Reasonable. The chamber doesn't have a target. We only play one tiding, but it's fine. 60 cards. Brandon in high spirits. All right, it's another brandy. Reveal Albaz. Send Titanic clad. Or Cartesia. Okay. Ooh, are you going to discard the Cartesia to make me draw no cards? No. Okay. That would have been a cool play. Ooh, called by is massive for this matchup. Not gonna gamma here. Grab a luber. I'm Trying to think if I even want a Gamma at any point here, because I, I I wonder if they're going to normal summon Aluber and still activate the Branded Fusion, or maybe, I mean, they could just go Branded in Red or something like that. Branded Sword. Because I'm not going to Gamma this Aluber. I'm just going to wait and see what they do, because I'm not scared of Branded in Red either. Like, I have called by Ad Druis Worm. They go for branded fusion. Okay, interesting. I wouldn't I did not think they would, but sure. That's fine. We just get more and more cards. Oh, Rainbow Magician with Sanctifier. Quick launch, good addition. Alright.
so i mean is this really a problem because it's just i can just set tidying i just set tidying and i'm gucci you know like i don't have to i don't have to worry about this so. Don't mind this. Search another Albaz. That's all three Albaz gone. All right. Set. All right. Now. How do I go about this? Do I just enter the battle phase to try and force the Cartesia so I can Gamma it? I feel like that's a play that I can make. They might just let me go into the battle phase though, but I think I'm also okay with that outcome. Get gamma fool. Boom. Continue my main phase. Yes, please. Okay. So. We know the card in hand is a Fallen of Albaz. There's a Branded Sword in the graveyard, which doesn't do anything. Uh, the, we, the only thing we don't know is the set card, but no matter... Like, I mean, Super Poly is scary. Um, but if it's not specifically Super Poly... Quem can... Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to go into my extra deck before we get rid of this Quem. I think I'm just going to try and go battle phase and attack over the Quem. Because I don't want to deal with it bringing back Albaz. Can you pop... I could pop the back row, but I would have to go into my extra deck first to do it. Like with... um, With Baron. Like I could quick launch into Baron, but that would then the Quem would bring back uh, stuff and so on. So I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to spend my removal on the Quem. Uh, I have a question. Can't they, they? They can't activate anything now, aren't they? Didn't they just lock themselves completely? Sick. Enjoy. You also have to fuse with the Albaz in your hand. Because you don't have one in the deck. And you can't activate whatever you summon. Phenomenal gameplay. Love that. Love that for them. All right, sick. Yep, goodbye. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Dude, the freaking Rainbow Magician is so bad. It's so bad. It's, it's actually criminally bad. All right, let's play... What do we play now? Let's play some Vanquish Soul, shall we? Let me update this list real quick. Vanquish Soul. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how worth Droll and Lockbird is. Unironically, with the amount of super heavies that I'm seeing. Because there are... I mean, there are some. It's not like there is no super heavies. But it's not that many. It's not that many. Droll has been feeling weird most of the time. Um, and the thing is, even if we, we, we run into, into Super Heavy, we still have Shifter and Maxi. Like, it's still five really good hand traps going second. Um, 
So maybe we maybe we play like more generic one. Like I think Crow is really solid. Um dude, I, I, let me craft another crow. It it bothers me so much that one of them is glossy. Um Should I play another small world? Because I feel like I, I'm not drawing raisin often enough for my liking. Another question that I have is like genuinely, do I still like the Cash Tira cards? Because it feels very weird to only have one Fenrir. But I guess it is still really strong. Retaliating C for Branded. Retaliating C for Branded. Retaliating C is good against Branded, but it's like pretty bad in all the other matchups, no? Like what is it? What is what about other matchups for Retaliating C? It's not good against Super Heavy. It's not good against Kashira. It's not it's it's not good against most decks, is it? I like Bell. Okay, so the cards that I think are worth considering are Small World, Kurikara as a one of with Small World, and Bell. Those are the kind of cards I would consider. So this would be 44. We have to take out four cards. Uh, I don't like three Small World. Um, I don't like three Bell. Or do I just cut, like, do I cut some of, do I cut the cash Tira cards, maybe? Magna? Oh, yeah, Bistiels seem pretty good. At least, like, one Magna, one Druis. If I cut the cash cards, we are in 40 cards, right? Maybe that's fine. Let's try it. So we added another small world. So surely now I get to see Raisin in this deck. You don't play Dweller in this? I don't, simply because I don't think there's many decks in the meta where Dweller is good. Um... All right, we have Raisin. Challenge accomplished. Boom. Didn't get drolled either. Phenomenal. Um, so let's Prosp first, because I was going to say, like, Prosp is a little awkward here because we don't have we can't do the Jiao Long line at this point, but maybe we will be able to with the... Uh, I guess Exiton... Eh. If we find a Fire Axis, there's Jiao Long, that works. Okay. I mean that opener was pretty good. I don't know you I don't know if you needed to scoop to it immediately, but it was a pretty good opener. So this is what it feels like if you open raisin. I didn't know that. I'm I the, the thing that I'm used to is fighting for eight turns because I don't have raisin. I fight with like the weirdest hands. No, that does feel good. That does feel good. Okay, only one hand trap going second doesn't feel great, but maybe it's fine. They don't have it, right? They don't have circular yet. They just pass.
They just pass? Oh, is that the good or the bad one? Oh, that's a uh, combo, right? Yep, goodbye. There are so many decks in Master Duel right now, unironically, that if they start playing, you instantly leave the game. It's actually, it's actually, it's actually concerning. Like, Math Mech, Super Heavy, Menadium, you go second, they put a card on the board, you don't have the right hand trap, you just scoop. There's no discussion. Like, you don't have a freaking way to play into that board. It doesn't exist. It's not a Yu-Gi-Oh problem. It's very specifically a Master Duel problem right now. Like, unironically, it's actually, it's a Master Duel problem. I'm starting with Madlof here because I don't want to start with Stake Your Soul, get um, Max Seed, and then not have Rock. I want to establish the Rock first, and then I'm going to Stake. I think that's better. Um... Uh, I don't have... I'm, I think it's just Borger here. I'm not going to be able to search with the Jiaolong unless I draw uh, a fire monster. That's okay. All right. Why well, put down the Jiao Long now? Don't see a reason to. Um, this was also four summons, right? So that's, I guess, one advantage of it. Can search Borger with Long. Yeah, but in order to summon the Long, like in order to search with the Long, I have to go Raisin, search another Fire. Then I have to summon out Long, and then I have to get the Raisin back into my hand. So I have to like link it off into another rock and then add it back with continue like it's awkward to get the raisin back into my hand if i don't search burger right Ooh, Caesar is wonderful. Caesar is a wonderful draw here. The only thing I would like to have against a 60 card deck that I don't have yet is a mag is, a, is an Ash Blossom. Everything else is perfect. Fusion deployment. Okay, we are toxic as hell. We just max heat them behind the perfect opener. We are the problem. What care? They make Jade. I could just go Dust Devil now. The Mirror Jade is a lot of card advantage, but it wouldn't blow my board up later, right? Um. I think I do care.
we're playing into talents here, I suppose. Um, but I think, I mean, they're under max C, so it's kind of whatever. I'm hoping we can at least make it to to diamond. I guess it doesn't help if we play decks like Zodiac and Dragons, which are fine decks. You can make diamond with these, just not as fast as with the other decks. Okay. Solid hand. Just no raisin yet. Pot of Desires. I think that's an ash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ash that. Okay. It's Zodiax. Well, I guess I max C, but I don't feel great about it. I don't feel great about it because they might just not give me a single draw. At least Panthera is bigger than. Okay, we get a draw. Try it. Oh, the small world. Small world, Div. Oh. Um. See if we get to search this with small world. I hope they ash. They don't ash. Okay, so. Um. I feel like I get rid of Crow. Almost certainly. And then I'm probably gonna banish... If I banish Kurikara, I can't get Raisin, right? Because it's fire and 1500 defense. I can banish a Borger to grab Raisin because they have the same defense. Or I can banish a Mad Love because they're both level 4. Uh, since I already have Borger, maybe I'll banish a Mad Love. Uh, banish a burger. Oh. Get raisin. Thank you. 
the back row could still mess with me a little bit. Chain maxi, but that's not that bad. That's okay. We take that. It's actually perfect because I want to search a, I want to search a dark here to draw with Burger. That makes I have all three attributes for all three attributes for Snow Devil. It's it's this is fine. We just attack the dryad and set Snow Devil as vibe. Vibes. All right. Dude, Small World actually saved this hand. Without Small World, we were not winning. It's crazy how much one Raisin does. Crazy what one Raisin does to a motherfucker. Bop. Time to make an apology video about Small World being a bad card. No, Small World is not a bad card. It's just the decks that have to play Small World are typically bad. And this is even true to some extent about Vanquish Soul in Master Duel. The deck is better in the TCG where it doesn't need to play Small World. And no zoo. Okay. Didn't even have another Zodiac. Okay, that one is not very good. <laughs> I take it back. This one kind of sucks. Mm. I mean, what back row do they even play in this deck is the question. Uh, if I summon Madlove, I play into a potential Super Poly. I can just can't I just attack them and win? Realistically, I'll just try to attack. See what happens. We can still win with Burger Burn over multiple turns, even if just Raisin connects. Even if just the Raisin connects, we can win with Burger Burn. Gozen match. That's annoying, I guess. Keep dark. Goodbye, Raisin. See how if they can deal with that. I mean, they can imperm it, sure. Imperm dodges it once, but I don't think they can avoid it forever. Yep. Yep. This deck is so good. I don't think it's that good. It's a good deck, but it's not that good. It's not crazy. It's fine. Trap Tricks. That's the perfect matchup for my Druus Worm and my DD Crow. Actually, DD Crow is fine against it, I think. But Druus Worm is pretty bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Do they immediately have a trap? They don't. Okay. Urikara could go hard in this matchup. Second stake, your soul is not great. I wish I wasn't dead to one Ash Blossom here. And I wish I also didn't have to show them that I have Kurikara, but I have to. Okay, Ma I'll, honestly, I'll take Maxi. Maxi is way better for me than Ash here. For this specific hand. It's still, the Maxi is still really good for them, but it's better than Ash for me. I say that very often. I, it's not that often, honestly. Most of the time, Maxi is better than Ash. Uh, one difference between Maxi and Ash very often is that one of them, um, can like it's it's easier to negate maxi than uh, than to negate an ash blossom okay one draw but in exchange i get to summon borger worth it they're gonna get some draws here i don't think i mind it that much though like i'll i i might also just summon this kurikara Depending on what they do with this Sarah. Depending on what this other backer is, they might just die this turn. Because, I mean, I can I have Kurikara that can go onto the board. I have Jiaolong that can go onto the board. And I have Druisworm that can go onto the board. So, like, technically... Technically... I could just uh, kill them. Okay, they go for Dionia. Set that. Is this the best I can crow in this matchup? No, right? There's better. Nah. I don't care about a, a floodgate trap hole that cannot be used until next turn. Sarah activates again. Summons what? Oh, sets. Yeah, so this is 3,000. I want to draw first. Oh, wait, no, it's 45. Not 3,000. It gains 3,000. So 45 plus 25 would be 7,000, but I didn't have an Earth yet. I'm still going to summon Zhao Long. And I have to summon Zhao Long before I summon Kurikara because I don't have two Earths anymore. Now I have an Earth. It depends on the back. They have another back road they haven't used yet. Okay, Ash to Zhao Long, sure. Don't care. What? No. They play that? Goodbye, cruel world. Uh, okay. What the hell? They play Torrential Tribute. Mm, 
add a trap tricks from deck to hand. Sure. Can the trap tricks deck OTK? Uh, it might be able to. I with the help of they already have the Holotea set face down, so maybe. But like, I I don't think through a Druid Swarm, I would be surprised. Ooh, is that the Floodgate Trap All right, they can reset the Floodgate because it would be banished during the end phase. They can reset it. That's not bad. You still had your normal summon? I did have my normal summon, but I'm, I, my Raisin was already used. And I didn't want to make... Um, I did not want to make Rock under Maxi. Oh, that helps OTKing. Okay, question is now, do I have to Druid Swarm now? Because they might make Rafflesia into Gravedigger's Trap Hole? You think they can... You think they can make Rafflesia and OTK me? If I just don't use my Druid Swarm? I don't actually know trap tricks well enough, but I, I think that would be that that be I would be surprised if they could do that. Atipus is a thing. All trap tricks gain a thousand. Target face up cards, but but that's a link three. How do they get there? No, I'll see it. I'll see what happens. I'll see what happens. Hey, if I lose to this Torrential, fair enough, dude. I did not expect that Torrential to, to be a thing. I did not expect that. I think the problem is less that... I die this turn because I, I, I don't think I will die, but I, I maybe, you know, it's not impossible. But uh, even if I don't die this turn, I feel like um, I'm not going to be able to break it next turn. Like, it, it's, it's a lot of stuff that they have. Okay, that just adds a trap tricks from deck to hand. Messi Kulo. Special this from hand. Break off trap hole, by the way. Very odd choice. That's not quite game yet. So in their hand, I only know a floodgate trap hole at the moment, right? Unless I miss something. Oh, they have this as well. Special this from hand as well. With Adipus with these three, is that game? 35, 48, no. How big is Adipus? 18 or 28? 18. So it's 28 with the thousand boost. So it would be Adipus 28, yeah, 28, 35, and 13, which is not game, but it does put me to low enough so that a Gravedigger's Trap Hole would game me, which is a big problem. Kularia. Cool, 
Okay, that says nothing. Okay. Does this need link monsters? They could have just made this directly, right? Okay, we have to deal with this Rafflesia without using um, an effect in the hand or graveyard. Because otherwise, Gravedigger Strapple just kills. We know there's a Floodgate Trapple. The other stuff we have no info about. Okay, one additional trap. Sick, that's just in time. Okay, so four out of the six cards in our hand are not usable. We can't use any of them. Um, they are all unaffected by traps, so I can't, like... Summon Caesar. Stake your soul to summon Caesar. I don't like, I don't, I don't hate that. At the same time, I could also summon a Jiao Long. No, wait, I have to. Yeah, okay. Let's, 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 let's try this. Master Duel is trying its hardest to make me mad today. Okay, they use this, that which enables, like, my entire hand, at least. Oh. The problem is I still don't know the set card, which could still be Gravedigger's Trap Hole. So I'm not sure how smart it is. To to play into it. But it's like, I don't know if I if I have a choice. I don't know if I have a if I have a choice to really Play around Gravedigger's Trap Hole Hard Draw at this point. I feel like the answer is just no. Okay, they have a response here. Doesn't this mean that if, if unless it's a hand trap, which it could be, um, but if it's the trap card that they have here, that means... Oh. Are gonna trap tricks in your grave special summon it? 
what did they target? Sarah. Ooh. Well, I mean, now. Uh, here is where we find out whether we die or not. I'm not going to be able to play around. Um, Grave Digger's Trample. They have it, they have it. No, it's Ice Dragons. Ice Dragons Prison? They try to summon my heavy Borger. To do what? They could draw a card with it, maybe. If they have a dark in hand. What if they have... What if they have a trap tricks and an ash? To burn. Oh, it's negated. No, I let them have it. I think I let them have it. Hold up. Is there anything else I need to bell, though? Do I need the earth in hand is the question. So Raisin resolves. Uh, I pop the Adipus. I attack over the Rafflesia. This is tough. Like, I'm thinking I just search Valius because I play two. Rafflesia protects. Oh, I just attack the Rafflesia first then. Never mind. This is the same thing. I just attack it first. I can just attack the Rafflesia first. Oh, this is unaffected by Valius. Why not summon Druis? Because it's my last um, dark. I'm gonna need to focus here. We don't have that much time left. 55 seconds. Also maxi, but otherwise the, the crash druis was 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 good, but um we need the dark to have a pop with raisin and values. If we win this, it'd be insane, by the way. I just want to say, like, how crazy it would be if we won this game. It is a good game. No, it is a good game.
Melfi Daddy, thank you for the prime. <laughs> uh, they haven't made that card yet. I'm doing this immediately to play around talents, because talents take, I need to be able to make this unaffected immediately. Uh, if I had time, I would check what kind of exceeds they could make and stuff like that, but... Wait, battle phase? Main phase 2. Noted. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> that helped. Dude, I only have 20 seconds. I need to do this fast. Banish this card, target a normal hole trap in your grave, set it. I'm crying that. Dude, I need more time. I need a little more time. Just let me get it. Let me get to my next turn, please. They also had, they had the same problem. They had the same problem, but I think we win there even without that. I think we win without that. We pop the Rafflesia in the end phase and we go off next turn. God damn, holy. Woof. That was a good game. That was fun. There should not be a timer. There should be a timer. There definitely should be a timer. Most of the time when I have timer issues, it's my own fault because I just talk too much to chat. Like genuinely, I think the timer is fine. Sixty cards. All right. Uh, this foolish sense Mercurier. And then they summon Serenia by banishing the Mercurier. And then the Mercurier sends, um... The Mercurier adds Albion. It's a pretty good sequence. I still, I still wouldn't ash the... I still would not ash the, the foolish. Because it would if they already have Brand of Fusion or Alibur or something like that. Um, I could... Ho honestly... What if we just hold Crow and we Crow the Branded Fusion? What about that? If they go for that play, what if I... Because I, I, could, I could Crow the Lubelion right now, but if they go for the... Wait, they searched Quem. Okay, so they're doing it differently. It's fine. Kid can still add... Yeah, but Kid, Kid can add it back from Banish, but that's a lot... Um, that's a lot better for us and harder to get to. Okay, Retribution. Quem. 
Ja. Rotten Diffusion. Wonderful. Okay. Okay, that worked. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh uh. Calm down there, buddy. That's right. That's what I thought. Uh, we don't have all the attributes. I still think it's better to grab this. Mm. I wish I had... I wish I had the means to pop a card with the values, but I need to draw with the Borger for that. I don't bounce the Quem back to the hand, do I? I think I just make the Lubellion smaller. Give me a fire monster. Get her the Quem first. Okay, Rock summons out Raisin. Raisin searches what? Would need another fire to be able to pop the yeah. He's our first. I don't have an earth. I could also just grab an earth. That's probably better, actually. It's better to search an earth here, I think. Because then I can summon Valius, pop the Lost now, and have all three for Snow Devil and another pop next turn. Probably better. Because if I grab Jiao Long, I have the Raisin pop for the Lubellion, but then next turn I still don't have a Valius pop? Yeah, let's grab Pantera. Just not pop with the Raisin here, rather pop with the Valius. Do you think they play another target for Lubellion? Because I could wait on popping the Lost. I can pop the Lost whenever on the next turn. Um, but if they play something like Branded Beast, I mean, they play 60 cards. Surely they play like Regained. Let's get rid of this. Because we can also pop it with, uh, potentially we can pop it with Pantera if we want to as well. We can use the Valius pop on something else. And then we'd have to search another. Yeah, no, this this can work. Ah, ha ha, kick. End of the main phase. I'm not even gonna play into talents or something like that. I don't care. End phase value is good enough for me. 
Dude, that DD Crow was wild, turn one. That DD Crow was evil. They went first, opened a way to Branded Fusion and Grass in 60 card Branded and still lost. Impressive if you ask me. <laughs> Stop giving me shifters! Probably a seal is what they have, right? That was a tragedy. That was uh that was relatively likely, but whatever. No draw. All right. Z clap. You know what? I'm not going to ruin the Vanquish Soul win streak. I'm going to keep it going. Because when you have a lucky day with Vanquish Soul, you really need to, tr you, you need to treasure that. You know, that's a, that's a, that's a rare occasion. It's all a, it's a second small world diff. Second small world diff, truly. Oh, someone left after losing the coin flip. Stare. All right. Scammed. All right, give me raisin. Not yet, but could still be there. Gimme, give gimme. Give Bell, Shifter, Maxi, Pantera. Jiao Long Crow. Okay, this is what it this is um I guess kinda working, not really. At least, I mean, it gets Raisin, <laughs> just not, I can't summon it on the first turn, but it does get it. Sucks that they will know that I have Ash, but it is what it is.
Most important card to get here is a dark to make sure that Snow Devil um, can summon, uh, can can all, have all three attributes, no matter what happens to... Okay. Um... Yeah, that's that. scary. It's scary, but at least, um, excuse me. What the? <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? You don't... Okay, you you just want to prevent me from getting a max C draw? And that's how you... you oh, what the? That's how... That's your way of stopping me from getting a max C draw. It's just... Okay. Okay. <laughs> what the hell is going on, man? <laughs> and now what? <laughs> now you're under maxi and have two gammas. <laughs> nah, yeah. <laughs> what did you think was gonna happen? What did you what what was, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you chain both teleports, man? <laughs> the maxi. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, imaginary 433, thank you for the six months. Half a year of support, you're amazing, thank you. This hand is pretty good. Ooh, we imperm the mad love. That's first of all very risky and second of all not that not that good. For them, but sure. Mm. Make the rock first and then Durandal because if I Durandal immediately on the Mad Love um, and they ash it and I link it off, I lose my Durandal. This way, if they ash it, I guess it is what it is. And I, it sticks around, which gives it a chance to be useful next turn. But they don't ash it. Okay. Do we start with steak or do we start with a raisin? Mm, I feel like it's steak. Steak reveal magna, to be precise. Or, um... Actually, I should have added back first, maybe. Oh no, I want to summon, maybe. That's fine. They can, they can, they can. Ha no, I have Magna. No, Maxi. What a good day. So, Stake is better into Maxi because I, um, if I get Maxied instead of summoning with the rock, I can just add back. Phenomenal. I love drawing Shifter. Um, do I special summon? 
Or do I keep the spare? I could just add back. I'm somewhat tempted. No. Special. What, what does special summon raisin do for me here? Nothing really. Add. Nope. I would I, I wasn't expecting you to put it in the right zone anyways, buddy. I was not expecting you to to put it into the right zone. Don't worry about it. What's the right zone? The right zone is next to rock, so if I wanna pop it with um raisin. I lose my rock as well. That is the right zone. I need a fire monster. Oh, they have Droll, I think. The reason I want to pop the circular immediately is that if they normal summon, they get a free extender. I don't want that. Glad that card's limited. Let me guess, parallel exceed. Yep. And we die. Imperm, Maxi, Circular, Diameter, Parallel Exceed. I thought about trying the Borger draw, but I don't think there was anything that saves us here. Because even if I draw Valius, I don't have a, another Earth. Hey Josh, are you free? Free of what? Free of Math Mech? Uh, no. want to duel like uh remote or on master duel like what's the because i have my my remote setup is completely uh not assembled at the moment because i got a new camera and i need to set it up no i got i got all of my new camera is already here and my new the all the equipment has arrived today so i'm gonna set it up for next week um for the the good camera So I don't have it right now. 
unfortunately. But we can do it next week. Alright, I'm on the toilet. Be right back. Yeah. What is the set? Is this a rank up? Are we doing rank up stuff? It's going to be toxic, isn't it? Two fog blades. Verte DPE? I mean DPE Okay. That's not that toxic. Two DP uh, two fog blades in a DP. I'm not complaining about that. I'm not complaining about that. That's okay. And my hand's pretty good too. Now if they maxi me on top, you bet your ass I'm complaining. Oh, oh, I was still toggled off. Okay. Would I have tried to... I'm not even sure if I would have tried to dodge that. I forgot to toggle on, though, so... Not ideal. Uh... I, it's probably correct because I want to make sure my raisin goes through. So I may have done the correct play on accident. Because even if they go, even if they go DPE here to pop the raisin, I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's all right. Because raising goes through, and we kind of just vibe here, no? So... Um... If I grab a fire monster... I can go Mad Love Reveal for cost. Summon Zhao Long. Link into Rock. Rock add back Raisin. Zhao Long has two. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely.
He still has another pop? Does he? You mean fog blade summon back this? Yeah. But why are they not using it? Like, why didn't they do this? They should have done this um, on my Jiao Long before I had the second fire. I guess they didn't know exactly what was in my hand. But I have a, I've, I've, it felt like they were toggled off. Because now uh, we're just vibing, right? Because now Valius... Valius just pops this. I guess they don't know I have another... Earth monster? Still. The cool thing is that they have to look at my maxi and be like, oh, that's going to happen next turn. <laughs> okay. Um, bring back Bardish. Okay, I feel like I have to pop that instantly. That's a lot of value, isn't it? I mean, they can do it again, though. Should I have max seed in my own end phase? I don't think that would have been right. Nah, that max is way too good next turn. So, just in case... I might not draw another Earth, right? So once I discard my Max C, let's just do this first. They drew that. They 100% drew that shit. They did not have that. They would have said it. That is nasty. They have more? Oh no, it's just Fogblade, I think. So DPE comes back. They have they have both malicious and the denier in the graveyard. The problem is if they just pop my rock here, they are basically free to go. If they stand by face pop rock, I'm like pretty much out of stuff. Like I can summon Borgo to draw a card, but that's it.
That called by is insane. Yeah. They're not automatically a stream sniper only because they made the correct play. <laughs> That's not how that works. Uh, yeah, I just do this. Uh, Appalooza me, thank you for the five months. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, as always, appreciate all of your guys' subs a ton. Thank you. And welcome back to month number five. Let's just try and see if we draw some here. Everyone who plays well is being coached by the world champion. <laughs> Does Bell help? I'll take it. That might help. Huh? Huh? It doesn't it doesn't help against the malicious, but you know. A razor, think of it as seven months. Appreciate that. I'm not super familiar with how they play Phantom Knights in Master Duel at the moment, but we'll see. Dark has a target. Oh, is that important enough to stop? Is that important enough? Surely not. Axis code, but like they only have one attribute in the graveyard. Lass ihn kochen. <laughs> Ach ja. Arc Rebellion is a potential play. Uh, with Breaksword, right? Okay, I thought they were gonna bounce for a second, but that's not that scary, whatever. Thank god I didn't have Borger in the graveyard for them to draw a card. That always makes me mad. Nothing makes me more mad. Then when they have, uh, when they draw a card with my heavy burger, that is the biggest crime you can commit against the Vanquish Soul Duelist. If you draw a card with, uh, drawing a card with their heavy burger is actually against the law. <laughs> yes, I am German, so I, I do know how to speak German. <laughs> Dude, Bell Bell on the breaksword um revive literally goes hard. No? I feel like that might save us here, that we top decked exactly the bell. Like, the bell I was probably the best possible draw then, if they go for this line. Uh, just to make sure they targeted Jiao Long, so... Come back home, Jiao Long. Well, I just need to live this turn. I think I even make the... I, I think I summon the Valius in defense. That's how scared I am. I, I only want to live this turn. If I live this turn, I think it's it's all Gucci.
Dude, massive bell. Massive bell. Holy. Holy bell. Okay. So they still have what? They have a fog blade. They can definitely get access code, but that's not going to be game, is it? They have boots, but boots doesn't extend anything, right? So this comes back too. They're not dark locked, so they can make like levy year stuff. They still, they're not done. They're not done yet. Shade Brigandine is in the graveyard already. And also, you can only activate Shade Brigandine immediately if you have no other traps in the grave. Uh, which I guess... Yeah, okay. Levier here. Might still be... I mean, I'm, if I'm still dead, I'm still dead. What am I gonna do? Like, I I, I did my... I, I tried my best. I played to my outs. If I, if I die, I die. IP. That does not look like a you are going to die play. If I'm honest. Forty three hundred access code with only one attribute in the graveyard. Okay. Their extra deck is looking thin. Five cards. All right. All right, we take a whopping 800 damage. No, we don't take any... Why did we not take... Wait, why does this not... Ca could this not attack for some reason? Okay. Okay. <laughs> ah, my friend. The shifter. How do we out this access code is a good question. Uh, security dragon outs it. Uh, we can start with Raisin. Yeah. Wait, DPE does not target, right? Yeah, DPE does not target. DPE kind of, kind of mean for that. He can pop on normal. No, no, we're, we can search um, Pantera. We can search Pantera. Uh, it's still somewhat problematic. Special Levanquish Soul from hand. Summon this. Um, if I grab continue... It's probably continue here. Oh. Activate continue. Target raisin. Don't summon it. Reveal a dark. Summon Jowlong. These two. Heavy Borger.
Dude, small world kind of fries my brain here. Uh... Kurikara for the DPE. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, how do I find Kurikara, though? Uh, Shifter. DD Crow. Kurikara. Security Dragon. That... Oh, game. That was game. That was exact game, too. They had 4,100. The timer was running low there. That was also a good game. We're having good games all of a sudden. What happened? I guess uh, less max C happened. Small world differential. Small world differential indeed. Have you had good games where you lost? Yeah, absolutely. No, that happens too. Not that much today, to be fair. The games I lost today were a lot of activate Vakaushi, no hand trap. Activate circular, no hand trap. Those kind of, these kind of situations, you know? Like this one. These kind of games, you know, these are the kind of games that we lose. Not even called by so we can bell it. Oh, no, that's standard. Like when I have bell, it's never it's never called by. <laughs> I hate this game, man. I hate this game sometimes. Every single time they have this fucking card, man. Bro, please remove cybers from the game, man. I'll sacrifice my Salamangrades to get rid of this shit. Look how I you can nib them for six fucking monsters. That's how hard they played into nib. Oh, Luke, is the wrong moment for a raid. It's the, lo it's the wrong moment for a raid. <laughs> I am not in the mood. The thing is, uh, we can't play, is the other issue that we have. 
next to the fact that like you know they have all this if they just negate stake your soul it's jobber anyways cool very pog such cool gameplay that has been conducted Couldn't they just swap the TCG event with the ranked mode? Like make it so that we only have three days in two years to play Master Duel format and instead we play TCG in ranked? I feel like that'd be a good idea. Okay. Vibin. The reason I went with Madlove first was because even if something happens to my Madlove and I get the trap, I have all three attributes to still blow up the board. Um, so that was the reason for that. Get freaking owned, man. Play a real deck, man. I swear you have a better chance of winning if you just play a real Yu Gi Oh deck. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Just try it once. They are the same rank as you, so... Yeah, so what? What are you trying to say? <laughs> I feel like we found a stun player in chat, is what happened. Add back Pantera, but I need a dark. I need a dark to be able to draw with Borger. I could also special summon out Madlove with 
Ah, I like that too. Summon out Madlov. Grab the trap card. Yeah, okay. But draw with Borger first. Because once I summon out Madlov, I won't have a dark left. Or I will, that's fine. Special out that. Grab the trap card, set to... That's a pretty good opener. I have to show them the magnum mood here, but it's okay. Ooh. Yep, that's about as good as it gets. Even against super heavy samurai, that's about as good as it gets. Um, the bike is not worth ashing. I don't. Think. Vakaushi. Ooh, Regulus. How much defense? 1600 defense. That's unfortunate. If I maxi and they have Gamma, I get pretty stomped. But I feel like I have to try. At this point. No response. All right, that is pretty good. I guess I could have ashed the Gamma, worst case, yeah. Wasn't really trying to do that, but I could have. And uh, they summoned the... Oh, hold up. Hmm... We have some plays here. Okay, so we got the to toggle on for this. I don't have an earth to bounce. This is the problem. Mm, I also don't have an earth in hand. Because I maxied. Okay, I'll, I, I'll wait for now. Will I? No. So what I what I'm thinking, what do I need to pop with this? I need earth and fire. So I go ahead and special summon. Oh. That was easier than I thought to bait that. Okay. <laughs> that okay. Oh, I was I was working out a a, a long-winded plan to force the regulus and uh, they okay, fair. Cool. Hello. Hello, Big Benki. Nah. You draw Earth anyway. I didn't need it here. I could have. Uh, I could have summoned um, Raisin with the trap if I wanted to. If I didn't find an Earth. Goodbye. Oh. 
Uh, sure. I'm not bullying. This is super heavy samurai. This is more than allowed. It's not bullying. It's maybe a little bit of bullying. But uh, the, the thing is, like, all the plays that I'm doing are, like, the correct plays. It's not like I'm, I'm BMing. Is that, that's what I need. These are the plays that I need to make. What the hell is that Zephrath doing there? Uh... Blood thinks he's on the team. <laughs> That's funny. There we go. Two more until Diamond 2. Not too bad. We could have made it to... We could have made it to... Um, to Master... If... Uh, if I didn't play Cash, I feel like. <laughs> or Dragons. That didn't help. Or Zodiac, rather. It was more like a Z Zodiac cash tier deck. Can Gold Pride get Master 1, you think? Um, Yeah. Yeah, I think it can. I don't think it's that good, so it, it's going to still have a hard time. Okay, this is not great. Um, it's not, You're going you're gonna to take a while because it's it's not the best deck, but it's it's doable for sure. Uh-oh. Uh, it's not the right moment to brick, I, I, I feel like. Unfortunately, it was not the right moment to draw a brick hand, guys. ay 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 uh, Do we risk the Gamma in order to draw as many cards as possible? I think the answer is yes, because we are in trouble. Uh, first of all, Poggers, we have Bell. Second of all, this is going to ruin all your... Wait, what? Oh, this doesn't... This is this search effect is not even attached to no spells and traps in the graveyard. Normal summon. Can I draw a crow? Crow. 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 All right. The, the, the question is, how likely is it that I actually die? Because I play a lot of freaking hand traps, but they have a Baron now. We might just die. We, we I mean, we could just die. Not really something I can prevent with this hand. Baron pass? Dude, they can attack. I, I, my, my hand was... I, I... Okay. I have not activated Shifter a single time with this deck, by the way. Is all I'm saying. It's always been drawn into. I haven't activated it a single time the entire day. 
We've been playing Vanquish Soul for like one and a half hours. There's, what is this entire... Hello? Nine pillars. Sure. I mean, I'm happy if I get another turn for that card to matter, but I doubt. You think they will think that they went first? There's no way. There's no way they just pass. <laughs> It'd be so funny. I mean, they summit everything in defense, which is somewhat a tell, but I mean, they're probably going to get rid of that stuff anyways. Barricade Borg Blocker. Aurorodon? Can I draw my bestials, both of them things, please? It is Auradon. Nope, okay. Wait. Do you get, you get only one token now. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no, please don't let me die to this. I don't want to die to this. I don't deserve it. <laughs> Dude, why couldn't I just open Raisin, man? Okay, we ash that to potentially force out the Baron so that if we draw a Bastille, it goes through. Go, ash. Funny games today. I'm glad you guys are having fun. Okay, they let it go through. Augers, do we actually not die? We yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. We're popping off. <laughs> There's a pillar, but Yangzing pillar doesn't work, right? You need a Yangzing on the board for it. Uh, I just want to say, besides this Durandal, we still don't have raisin. <laughs> we didn't draw it. <laughs> we have to. We still have to search raisin. Boom. My question is, what is the other back row? Uh oh, they play both. Okay. They played Divine Strike and Nine Pillars. That's okay though, right? We don't we don't mind that. Because now I can just do whatever I want, right? Now the, the, the Nine Pillars is dead and I just go stake. Um Gonna reveal you. Yeah, curtains. Curtains! <laughs> what the hell were you trying to do, man? <laughs> Alright. 
They overcooked. All right, let's see if we can get diamond two. Once again, if you're enjoying the stream, if you're enjoying the content, consider following the channel so you don't miss future streams. Uh, we stream four to five times every week, usually. And uh, if you feel very generous and want to support what I do, consider subscribing. No smile. Okay, then don't. I'm noticing a pattern with this Durandal card. There's a pattern here that I don't enjoy. Uh, they're Chris Master. Thank you for the 11 months. Appreciate you. I'm gonna maxi as soon as possible here. I very often... Um, very often I wait with maxi against tier limits. Because they can just go for a kick close search trap and pass. The thing is here, I'm actually happy if they do that. Because I want to... Like, I just want to survive this turn. There, it's a difference uh, if they have a battle phase or not. Because, uh, because they do have a battle phase here. I want to... You know, God. Oh my God! <sighs> awesome, MJ. Uh, thank you for the five months. Appreciate that. Okay, we do live. We do live. Challenge the uh, challenge accomplished. They search tier cash. Activate five rainbow. Pass. So what you're telling me is that you have completely locked yourself. Out of your things on the board on purpose right now. That's phenomenal. And so all I have to do is set this card, and now this card only locks you and does not lock me. It's. Hey, look, it's. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Uh, we want Zhao Long. Zhao Long is what we want. Do I want to destroy this Kikolos? Question. I feel like the answer is... Yes. Because what the hell are they going to mill? It can activate, but like, what are they going to mill? I can also just attack over it, which is less risky. The question is, do I have game? Uh, if I pop it, I mean, they can always throw a tier cash in, in, my, in my way. Actually, okay, so I pop it. I summon out Zhao Long. Borger bounces back Raisin. I can search with Zhao Long. Borger burns for 15. Uh, I have, it's game over two turns. Like, I, I, I don't think they can mill anything that's crazy. Like, even Snow. I guess Snow can banish their own Rainbow Magician. Oh. Okay, they're gonna live. It's fine, though. It's not that bad. It's not, it's not, it's genuinely not that, not that crazy of a thing to happen. That's okay. And they milled Sharon and Rhino Heart, but they have a Rainbow Magician, so nothing that they summon can activate. <laughs> Dude, this Rainbow Magician. Uh, Quartz in Session, thank you so much for the nine months. Appreciate you. Yep, a rule close that can't activate. A rhino heart discarding a tear cache. Mill two. Mill Joel and Ash. <laughs> Riveting gameplay. Uh, 
I hate this game. So... Don't have an earth to pop with this. So I just attack here. I'm a little annoyed by the rule Kalos. So I make rock add back Jowlong. The problem with that play. The problem with Rock at back Jowlong is that I instantly lose if they have this if they have a spell trap that they can set next turn. Because then I can't like they can they are locking out my I think I have to summon with the rock. Summon a Vanquish Soul from hand. I can throw down another Borger. Like this. Yeah. And then next turn, I can add back Jowlong with Rock. Use Heavy Borger to draw one. Summon out Jowlong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This works out. Depends. I feel like 90% of the people that have put this card into their deck don't understand how it works. You can't activate... None of this does anything. Look at my shifter. What do I even need? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nah. Bro. Gu guys, you need to read the freaking Performer Pal. That card is not that good. That card is only good against Super Heavy Samurai. Against any other deck, they simply set one spell or trap from their hand and it does nothing. And you especially need to put your own cards face down. If you don't have a face down, it's not going to do anything, dude. Can you see their list? I mean, it's... It's going to be a normal tier. It's branded tier, actually. That's even worse. In, in the sense, like, you know, the, the, dude. Don't tell this guy that you can play a maximum of three cards of, like, you have, you have two three ofs in your deck. Maxi and Ash. Those are the only three ofs in your deck. You are religiously trying to ignore all good deck building rules. And you have succeeded. All right, well, we've made it all the way to Diamond 2. Not too bad, considering we started playing Zodiacs and uh, Dragons. Uh, let me quickly open up all these. Let me get these missions and open up all my freaking tickets thingies. Okay. To the shop. How many do we have? I don't know how many. I don't even know what I'm looking for out of these at this point. Like, I don't have the Trishula yet. Oh, Mistworm for my Edison deck. Sick. And a Goblin Attack Force. Wonderful. All right. 
Um, that's it for the day. Thank you so much for, for watching. We're going to be... Let me see where I send you guys. Who's streaming that I can raid today? Let me see who's streaming in the Master Duel category. Uh, let me find someone maybe that I haven't raided before. I'll send you guys over to Mordred. Um, yeah, until then, keep in mind, the new equipment for Remote Duels has arrived today. So I'm going to be setting that up for next week. So starting with um, probably even before Phantom Nightmare, but especially with Phantom Nightmare, we're going to be doing a lot of uh, high quality uh, remote stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, until then, hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, uh, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Um, actually, I'll, I'll see, you guys can see me, you can catch me tomorrow, because we're recording, we are recording Heart of the Cast tomorrow over on Farfa's stream. So, that's, you, you can, you can, you can catch me tomorrow over there. Um, but yeah, until then, hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for watching, thank you for all the follows, all the subs, as per usual. Uh, check out the YouTube channel, because the tier list video for Master Duel just dropped. Um, newest tier list for Master Duel released yesterday. Not performing too hot so far. So I'd appreciate if you checked it out if you haven't seen it yet. Exclamation mark YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff if you're interested in Master Duel content. Um, please go save that video. <laughs> and I'll send you guys over to, to Mordred. And I will hopefully see you guys all on Monday. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Thank